Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play Warm of 40k Inquisitor Mato in another episode. This time we are facing some Jukari forces, a little small hunty horse. So, the tech priest of the Kaligari Conclave synthesized an extremely rare chemical reagent from the remains of a Jukari biomechanical apparatus. According to rumors, this material is, is essential for producing of polymorphine, a mysterious substance used by assassins of the assassins, sorry there, of the Kalidus Temple, obtaining further samples deemed vital by the Holo orders of the Inquisition. Disable the pain engines for future extraction Eliminate all high-value targets marked on the map to complete the mission. Eliminate all marked targets. The enemies of the Imperium are infinite, and such a vast threat can only be fought with ingenuity. Kill the masters, and you will render a sea of perfect help. Oh yes, at least we will try that out. Um, well, the power you have seen it before the um, before I made the cut for and um, put out the loading screen. We got the little dialogue there telling us, well, that could be a little bit too high of a power rating for you, but that ain't true. Actually, you see how quickly the Drukari forces here explode. In the end, it is always a little uncertain whether we are going to make it or not because the big guys, the pain engines which we are going to destroy here, can be quite hard at a certain power rating and I think this is a power rating where they could be menacing to us, especially if they have scourges around them that of course makes them absolutely hellish to fight. The Scourges, you, if you are new to this game, then you might know the Scourges are... or you might not know, that is what I planned to say and I don't know why I did not say it. The Scourges bring down or can bring down your suppression resistance very, very fast and once that is the case you are not only slowed like we are currently but you are easily overwhelmed and are knocked down for example and then you have a little bit of trouble facing big guys which punch you hardly which knock you back and all that bad stuff so that is well not so cool I would say but with a bit of luck, fingers crossed there, we have the different kind of bodyguard, which is in the game as well, which are not scourges, but like that, Medusa's and the little snake thingy. Um, the Medusa's, of course, can bring your power rating down quickly as well, but I think this is not such a hardcore bodyguard group than the other guys. So, luckily, so at least one or three bodyguards are, well, very, very cool. If I remember correctly, we have not used the plasma gun in the last episode, and what better target than a very, very heavy elite enemy there is than to use that wonderful weapon until it is overheated. Then we just switch to the other weapon, which is a nice little autogun. I am not certain why the um, bloody mines have been spawned. I would assume we, right by accident, ran through the a bloody, uh, okay there I see it, through a bloody trap. I did not see that, especially in fights like this. You can't, you, you, you oversee them scouts very, very easily. Like I'm even without pressure to very, very often, basically too, too often. So, 1000 HP remain, which is not much and quite possible, I think. Um, so, not the biggest of threat targets here. Well, lucky with the guard, bodyguard there. 
So he is down. That's good. She deserved worse. Much worse. Well, I don't want to be to judge there whether he deserved that or not. So that we have beacon we of course use brings us on brings us on and we then go straight right we are going to face a scourge okay in that group of course not the biggest of problems like that so let's bring him quickly down like so those guys fall quickly as well dice so a lot of supply charges here which is good because I, with that, there I'm always a little too greedy. I should use those little um, void shield, not what the Rosarius force field, which we have as a uh, well, my, uh, secondary ability or as a belt ability here, um, which gives us in tiny, mo not tiny moments, but in dicey moments, the last little bit of edge to bring those enemies down so quite enjoying it should use it more often although i have to say as as, as i like the defensive type of um, gear you can get but i'm technically more of the offensive type so i would enjoy to use some grenades for example or the cyclone missile missile launcher strike from the armor I would like more than the jetpack and the Rosarius Force field. But I guess in the end you can't, um, you can't, <laughs> it would be cool if you could decide for the gear you get, but you just have no influence on that so that makes it hard to um, get the item you want to have especially um, currently I um, in my opinion it has changed a, a little bit because we are basically not finding items in the last couple of bloody episodes a lot of them to be precise we are not finding the right type of weapons and we've and what I mean there with that, of course, is that we haven't found any upgrade in, I wanted to say, a lot of time, but um, in time. So that's the weird stuff. And I would like to quickly find some new items to get a higher power rating. Out of that, we, of course, go. And then I take down the Vox Caster. And if we are lucky, which I hope, then we might be... Okay, yes, no more air strikes coming. So, guys, if you're facing that and don't know what to do, if you find a wax caster, take the wax caster down. Helps out a lot. So, there we have the ugly part of bodyguard. Some nifty, hefty scourges. For me, nasty, nasty, nasty. But what might be the problem here? You see sometimes they are, they are overcharging their weapon and then attack you. It, might, it would be, I guess, better if we would... Oh my god, I don't want to die. Um, if we would... You see when they charge up. Um, so I guess the basically the best thing to do there would just be to retreat. Not currently doing that. Maybe I should imply that more. But in the end... You don't always see if they are um, charging up or not because they are sometimes in the back. So now that I articulate that, I think what makes them well, 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 one point why for me they are nifty and hefty to kill is because you sometimes don't even see them. You don't see them, you can't aim at them, so that makes it sometimes ba ba baneful, <laughs> painful to get up against those guys and there you see we are down in suppression rating and here of course i should have destroyed the trap bolter before shame on me and i i forgot what i wanted to say sorry okay ah now i 
found it again. We are overwhelmed and we are shocked because the suppression resistance is down. And once that is, you are in a world of hurt against this guy. At least we killed off a Jukari normal warrior. This guy is down to a thousand damage, which is nice. Just 500 HP remain, that is not much, and then we can kill off the Scourges, and at least we have the second guy down. I wanted to say the first guy, but that would have been a very lie. Oh, come on. So there you see there what I mean. I am now, of course, nitpicking, but once you reach that state, it is very, very ugly. You see, they don't particularly do immense amounts of damage, but once they are at you, it is, well, well, not that easy to take them down. So, oh, uh, well, let me kill off this guy. Let me kill off this guy. Why don't we kill off this guy in between? No, he gets his shield up. Lucky bastard. So one is now in a second down. This one is going to be our next and the last target. And I am so glad that he is then down. And then we can take this guy off. Woo! What a hard battle, I can only say. Very, very hard. Alright, a beauty seal, the good thing is I'm going to take those credits with me because you know it, why not? Always helps out to have a lot of money. And I did honestly, I did honestly not expect to get down or to take this battle. Or that the battle, I have word finding problems today. That the battle here takes so long, we are now 15 minutes in and I guess around 15 minutes sorry I guess the battle is going to take a couple of minutes more especially if we will engage the last pain engine and fingers crossed okay I already see scourges damn it don't like them and technically don't want to face them but we do not have any choice so if I could two are down or four so that is good so only one survive that is good and down it is that means only the last scourge remains that is good for us because he will then simply fall in a minute or so all right down to five thousand under five thousand HP 4700 good and I'm not going to engage that group down not if I don't have to back to the plasma cannon here so there is one thing which puzzles me always a tinsy a little bit and I think I've spoken about that before that sometimes the these big guys retreat and I don't know whether um, new core games gave their characters some sorts of character traits and I know there are three character traits down there but with uh, with that I mean character mechanics because those pain engines and even all those chronoses never retreat that is what I think is weird but anyhow we got him I know, thank you very much. Let me take this weapon with me and then we, of course, are going to take the other um, weapon with us because what I said in the last episode still applies. I can sell that and that means I have a few more credits to waste. You should do that whenever, or I should do that whenever possible. That is just a little fun to me. And that is what I like. Anyhow, the burnt guy here looks terrible. Terrible, I'm sorry for you. 
All right, ranking points, mission completed. Of course, we will now take a quick look at the items we have received. Let's see, let's see, let's see. And all right, that could have been an upgrade if we don't have the current one equipped, which is good and helps us out a lot. All right, that means, guys, we are already at the end of this episode and you know it, I really thank you for watching if you guys have enjoyed this episode then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully i'll see you in the next episode until then have a nice day stay frosty bye